Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. This is New England Grows. You know, I come here every year because I want to get a lot of different ideas, not only on what to incorporate in the landscape, but maybe on how landscapes are changing. And this year, I'm very excited to listen to Ed Snodgrass, who's going to be talking about green roofs and what a wonderful concept. If you want to stay on top of the green industry, that's one of the many lectures you'll want to attend. You have your deck and your waterproofing and insulation. So you have to have a way to get the water off the roof. You have to have a way to separate soil particles from water particles. Uh, it has to drain properly. The soil has to be engineered for the plant material that's going up there. And you have to choose plants that are appropriate to the site. Here's a building in DC that eliminated uh, air conditioning using green features, living walls, and green roofs. Tell me some of the buzzwords going on in this industry now. Well, I think the, the big one is sustainability, green design. Uh, there's a, a new phrase out that's going to be more and more in the lexicon, and that's ecosystem services. So the services that plants supply to people. There's going to be a shift away from purely ornamental horticulture to ornamental horticulture plus horticulture that, that serves some function, especially in urban areas where there's so much impact on the environment from buildings, from highways, from rooftops. That's our green roof. That's the Boston World Trade Center and uh, there's a, a thin vegetated roof on the pavilion there that we supplied the plants for. Any other advice for landscape professionals? Well, the, the sustainability market is going to be a knowledge intensive market. So you can't separate product from knowledge. And uh, because it's interdisciplinary, we're working across disciplines, you're working with architects and engineers, stormwater professionals, and there's no substitute for knowing uh, this body of knowledge. If you just try to go with product alone, you're, going to, you're not going to be in a competitive position. What favorite plant to put on a roof? Uh, I think some sedum spurium probably, long-lived, very, I'm a very functional guy, so it's a, it's a great workhorse plant. The way I work with designers is I get to define the crayon box and they do the drawing. Great, thank you. Green roofs, sustainability, just one of the many topics here at New England Groves.